confronts a Black Lives protesters, a Black Lives Matter protester right here in D.C. She's going to tell her story live next. She is also an Air Force reservist, so thank you for your service and thanks for joining us. It's a great country to search in and I'll do it anytime. Well, that's right. Tell us why you decided to go out there and have this conversation. Uh, the reason I was there, first of all, was to honor the life of George Floyd. I will start by saying that any death in America is, is, is the worst thing that we could see happen. It doesn't matter who it is. It doesn't matter any death in America is a tragedy. Here's the thing, if black lives matter, we need to know which ones, because we Africans don't, don't know which ones, okay? Life is valuable. I will tell you, Shannon, the number of black Americans who were killed in DC, within three months, so we're looking at 10 African American people, death, death in DC, America don't know about them. <coughs>
But guess what the problem is? Uh, I will read 30 African Americans who died within three months in Washington, D.C., the nation's capital. America doesn't know about them. Who is black life? Who's, which black life matters? Is it not the black life of my neighbor? Uh, is it not the black life of my brother or uh, my sister? Which one matters? The one that are taken right. by people who look different? And that's right, you are, you're so right that every single life um, that is taken in this country, we should, uh, we should honor them, they should be, um, people should be prosecuted. I think we all agree on that. And we thank you so much that you would come to our country and then serve in our Air Force. Uh, Nestra, thank you so much. And thanks for joining us to tell us uh, your story. It's you're clearly pleasure. passionate about this. And hopefully that conversation can continue. It's my pleasure, Shannon. Anytime, I love this country. Thank we you. should all love this country. Every life matters. Thank you, Nestride. All right, Black Lives Matter is suing the president over clearing protesters out of Lafayette's